No, my hooky mai and all you're with breakfast. Now, just like trans seasonal clothes in your wardrobe, it's time for some trans seasonal dinners mm. as we head from winter into spring. Editor of Dish Magazine, Sarah Tuck, is here to share some easy but delicious recipes, perfect for this time of year, and they'll keep uh, dropping dinner guests happy too. Morena, Sarah. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Okay, so you've, yeah, this is the exciting part of our <laughs> morning. You actually get to bring the food in for us. So talk to us about what you've got for us today? Well, I've got two really, really easy um, dishes that, like you say, are, they're kind of trans-seasonal because at this time of year, you know, even if you have a beautiful day and it's, you know, it's gorgeous and sunny and then you think, oh, you know, it's almost barbecue weather, by the by the time it gets to six o'clock, it's 12 degrees and, yep. you know, it's not, not an option. So these have got, you know, got a bit of interest in the flavour, but a heat um, and a bit of spice. Um, so things that, but they're not quite as heavy as your full grunt midwinter yeah. meals. Um, and the, this chicken sambal um, was going nuts on our um, website the other day because it is so easy and it's got just a couple of ingredients. So in that one, all you do is mix together some coconut cream or if you're you know, watching the calories, some coconut milk. Um, so coconut cream, garlic, ginger, brown sugar, lime juice and sambal olic, which is like an Indonesian chili paste. Um, just easy to buy from the supermarket, oh, keeps forever in the fridge. Just mix that together with the coconut um, cream, bung in some chicken thighs and just coat them, and you stick them in the pan and bung it in the oven for um, 35 minutes. That's it. And it's, and it's really lovely. I mean, I would happily serve that, you know, to people coming for dinner, you know, with um, a little bit of rice or some flatbreads and some just like steamed green beans or whatever. But and and if um, and if you've got kids and you don't want to, you can go a little bit lighter on the chili yeah. or just bung two in the oven at the same time, one with a bit, you know, a bit more grunt. So yeah, yeah. You were talking about, and we were talking about this earlier. Actually, we've got these beautiful summery days, but it is quite cool. Yeah. But you don't want anything too heavy, which is what I did a couple of nights ago, and I felt awful afterwards. Yeah. So going from that transitional of those heavier meals into something that's just slightly yeah. lighter. Yeah. So I think what you're looking for is more like you want the kick in the flavour, you know, so rather than yes. like lots of meaty bulk. Yeah. 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 What do we need in the um, fridge to well, and in the pantry to make sure that we've got everything on board? Oh, if look. we want to throw something together, or as you say, bung it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, chilli flakes are like one of the best things in the entire universe because you can stick them into anything and it just gives it a little bit more um, heat. You know, so it's like um, ginger, chilli, garlic, um, lemon or lime, you know, and those are kind of like the fundaments. And then the other thing too is not to under season, you know, like um, I think we get a bit paranoid about the whole salt thing. Um, but if you're making your own food and it's not like pre-purchased, so it's yeah. not already got salt in it, it does need a little bit of salt to, to really amp the flavour up. And the trick with adding salt, and I haven't even got to my the vegetable thing oh, yet, no, but um, yeah. the trick with adding salt is, is to do it while you're cooking rather than at the end, because otherwise you just taste the salt. Um, specifically at the, yeah. at the top, whereas if you add it while you're cooking, it kind of just you know brings out the flavour of the food. Yeah. Okay, in 30 seconds. Okay, oh, 30 seconds. Oh, that's lentils, um, which I used to think tasted like um, eating sawdust. These are not like that. Um, this is um, mushrooms and onion and oh, carrot gosh. and garlic and um, sweet smoked paprika and tarragon that are cooked with tomato passata, which is like pure tomatoes, um, and then you stir through lentils make some kuma mash with goat's cheese, Love stick it on the top, it. bit of parmesan, a couple of knobs of butter, chuck it in the oven, 20 minutes. And it's all in here? Yep, in it's your all dish in magazine? Yeah, absolutely. Love so, it. Yeah, those are all in there and um, also on the website. But this has also got a great food fast section in it, which is so all your ones for after work um, are in food fast. It's in every issue. So, um, and it's always got the same background. So if you go to the blue background, Beautiful. you know you're in food fast. And I'm also looking forward to trying out the meatloaf as well. So, yeah. Tuck, amazing as always to have you in with us. Uh -huh. uh,